Hi, this is Brian with Prater Industries, and today we're going to show you if you needed to change your bearing housing on your mega mill, how we would go throughout that process. As always, before you go and do anything to these machines, properly make sure that they're locked out and tagged out for safety aspects. Once we're fully locked out and tagged out, we could start off by removing the guard. Once you remove the bolts, the, bu the guard should just simply slide right off. Now that we have the guard off, we can see we have our bearing housing here. There's two parts of this, one is in the outside, and if you come around to the front, can't really see it now with the rotor in, but there's another part that is on the inside. So the inner bearing is on actually, on, you know, where the majority of the action's happening inside the product zone, and then we have the other part of the bearing housing where the back bearing is going to be in this region. So if we wanted to remove this bearing housing, we have to remove the rotor. Once the rotor is removed, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bolts, eight. These eight will be removed. And once these bolts are removed, the bearing housing is actually going to go out that way. So once we have the rotor removed, the bolts removed. The other thing too, before we go ahead and remove the bearing, housing, we have to remove the omega coupling. The omega coupling here is attaching the shaft to the bearing housing to the motor. Once this is removed, we'll be able to then loosen the bearing housing and then get the bearing housing out to do a bearing, if we needed to do a bearing change, or in some instances, customers will have a spare bearing housing assembly that would just be swapped out with this one.